Hi guys, Anel Tunes here, the African Mix Master, a professional mixing and mastering engineer from Africa, uh, specifically from East Africa, Kampala, Uganda. And uh, in this tutorial today, we are still looking at limiting. Uh, for those who haven't watched the part one of this um, of this video, which is limiting still, uh, please feel free to go to uh, to look through the, my channel and find that uh, that video or the link is just below here. Just click on it and see how we did limiting the last time. And then we're going to go ahead today and look at a more advanced uh, limiting technique. Uh, in this particular one, we're going to be using um, what we call a multiband limiter. A multiband limiter uh, to, to to try to get um, the various multiband limiters out there. Feel free to use any that you feel like, as long as you know how it works and how its parameters, uh, what each parameter does. Uh, that's to say. And I'm going to be using the L3 multi by Wells uh, for this particular tutorial. Uh, remember, I told you how you have to use a loudness meter to tell you how much loudness uh, you're getting, and also don't just stick by the numbers. Use your ears to hear uh, to hear that. To hear the distortion that comes or something okay so uh let's listen to the song first and foremost uh we know it yeah same song by casey beautiful song and now we are going to limit um now this is called a multiband limiter for those who don't know what multiband means you can look for my uh, video on multiband compression i won't go so much into it uh here but if you look for that video multiband compression you learn what a multiband does it is exactly the same as the multiband limiter just the difference is that this limiting we're trying to get a maximum loudness uh, with less distortion some parameters to look for uh on this particular limiter, I don't know about yours, but on this particular one here, which is by Waves, the L3 Multi, uh, we have the release, we have the priority, we have the gain, okay? And we have the solo. Solo is, uh, solo is just this particular band here, uh, like for example. That's what solo does, gain, we all know what gain does, adds volume uh, to this band in specific. And then priority. Priority means... The higher the figure you set on the priority, you're telling the limiter that don't compress this part. Concentrate your energy on the other bands. So the gain reduction or the attenuation that was supposed to be put on that particular part, say on the laws here, is pushed to the next band. So which means there will be less limiting on this particular band and it will be pushed to the next and depending on the priority that you set uh, on this next band here, it also determines whether it's pushed to the higher or to the lower. So priority simply means prioritize this band. Don't limit it. Limit the other parts. Let this part through or limit less on this particular part. That's what priority means. And that's the reason I love this particular limiter. So oftentimes the low end is the one that causes, since it takes the largest space on the frequency spectrum, it causes the limiter to clip. It causes the audio to clip very fast. I'm trying to use the basic language that we can all understand. I don't want to use very technical language like I see most professionals or most YouTubers do. So I um, just, just want to keep it as basic as possible. So um, what it does now, this particular limiter here has an intelligent algorithm that it uses. Okay, it reads the, the frequencies. It finds that it's, it, it's it's compressing a lot of the low end. So what it does, it pushes some of that energy into the mid part. Uh, now this can be very good, and it can also be very destructive if you're not careful with it. It may end up pushing energy where you don't want it to be, depending on what you're hearing. Because you, there is something you want to hear, and there is something the algorithm within this particular plugin that is also doing. So you have to strike a balance between the two. So for this particular case, let me just, let's try to leave the bands the way they are because let's try to solve and find our, our crossovers in the right places that we want them. I like it there. I don't want words in that particular frequency. At the lower mids, I also like that it's already set properly. Then if I listen to... The mid that's around the 5 to 1K is okay the way it is. 
And now this is the harshness. This is where the harshness normally comes, where problems normally come. And also I like the way it is set. Then when you try to listen to the highs, just want to hear the high heart. I just want to hear the the siblings just want to hear the the shine on the song. Yes, we hear kind of um, some vocal there, but it's not so much. But I love it that way. So I'll take it as it is. Now, first and foremost, when you look at the release down here, you realize that from the low end towards the high end, the release keeps on reducing. So it's a longer release in the lows. Like you can see here, it's longer. It gets smaller. It gets smaller. It gets smaller and smaller. You realize that? Simply because... Um, when you're dealing with in, in a mastering situation, um, you want to leave the laws, uh, you want to hold the compressor or the limiter to hold on the laws a little bit longer than it would on the highs, uh, simply because the laws cover a bigger space and they should be held and controlled so 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 uh, so that they can be solid and not all over the place. Whereas um, the frequencies, the higher frequencies here simply are very, very audible to our ears. We perceive them more than we do perceive the lows. You realize if you want to hear the lows, in most cases, you have to first increase the volume. Uh, so in order to control that, we, we try to, to, to hold on to the lows more and uh, let go of the highers a, a little bit faster. So that's why you see I've set up them like that. And I've put a priority of 12 or what you, I could say 1.2 simply because I want the limiter, I don't want the limiter to concentrate so much on the bass, on the low end. I want it to concentrate more on the um, lower mid, like you see here, and the highs in particular, okay? So let's try to listen and just, I'm just going to put on the threshold here, like I'll say, like before we talked about in the first video, I'll put it at around, um, let me pull it around negative three, just for us not to get that digital clipping. Uh, then I'm going to put on the threshold. Uh, sorry. Now, if you look at this particular mid part here, the mid lows here, you're going to realize we're getting more gain reduction here, more compression here. The limiter is limiting this part some more than the others. Uh, and that's because it has to match with what I set up here. Like you said, the priority here, I didn't give it any priority, meaning that all the energy that's supposed to be here from the neighboring bands here, mainly here, is being concentrated here. Okay? And we are getting less um, compression here and uh, much more less one here. And again, much more less here. So, which means I'm just trying to concentrate the energy of the, of the limiter on these two bands here. Simply because those are the parts that I feel in this particular scenario that are really coming out so much. And you, in most African songs, you'll find that that's where the problem is. Okay? Because uh, the limiting that happens here is not so much audible to the ears than the limit that you would hear on the lows and on the highs. So you, it will be hard for you to hear the distortion so quickly or the clipping so quickly. So that's why I try to control those particular areas. Now, if you realize that in the previous um, tutorial, in the previous video we did about limiting, where we used just a single band limiter, uh, the loudest we could get was negative 8. And it was... Uh, we, we had some distortion. It, it was distorting so fast. And that's simply because we didn't have the control over the low ends that w uh, which normally cause the limiter to clip so fast. So realizing this one here, we have gotten louder to a negative 7, which is a standard. Negative 7 is loud enough for any country, for any play. If you play it against any other song, you feel some songs may be a little bit louder, but you feel it's within range. Okay. Now you realize that in this particular one here, we're getting louder simply because we have control over the low end the different particular bands now that's the advantage of using a multi-band limiter over a single band limiter okay um but you realize it also had some character to the song that the song is gets a little bit more harsher 
I, I feel it, it has more highs that, than, than I really wanted. So I could I'd do some prioritizing here because I don't want that harshness. It also brings it more into your face and it sounds, um, and um, it, it also sounds, it adds some nice artifacts there. Uh, but truthfully, I'm not a fan of um, limiters, um, of a limiting. Uh, I'm not a big fan. I, I rather look for a plugin uh, that um, that does some bit of compression and has a ceiling, like a brick wall ceiling, uh, and I just use the volume to pull up uh, whatever thing that I'm doing. And this is totally, this is just me. I'm not saying it's the best way to do it. Uh, very many pros use limiters. I just don't like the sound of limiters. And uh, I'm doing this simply because I want you guys to see how a limiter is used. And I, I believe many of you, that's what you know, that brings loudness. Uh, but um, I have a better way. I have another way that I get optimum level without distortion and without even adding any other sound. Because I want to maintain the sound that I got from right from the start when I was mastering. I don't want it to change at the limiting level. I don't want the limiter to add, to add that harshness or, or that color of it into my mix. I want it. I want my mix to to maintain the harmonics that I got from the distortions, from the tape delay, from the tape um, saturation, uh, from the console emulation that's what i want my recording to remain with i don't want this harshness that comes with a limiter so i don't i'm not a fan of limiters but for this particular case for this uh, case of this video let me show you I, I just want to show you how you can use a limiter and get good 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 um uh, something also to realize or to look at, you see here we have the 24 bits and we also have dither shaping type which is um, noise but I don't want to go into these details because they already um, they were already um, handled by the engineers of this particular plugin so we shall look at them on an advanced level or in the course that I will do uh, I'll show you more about that but for this particular case we just want to look at um, uh the mainly the priority here and the release uh so basically um now this one this particular recording here is louder than the previous video that we did about limiting using a single band limiter this is the second part of limiting and uh, i believe that's enough for this particular video again anel tunes uh, the african mix master professional mixing and mastering engineer from africa uh, Uganda in particular, uh, feel free to subscribe to my channel, like this video for more videos. And I, next, I'll be doing again another part three of limiting, showing you another technique of getting optimal sound, of getting the loudness that you want. See you in my next video.